Hi there and welcome to my little short video clip on using the Belkin FL5009 USB hub in conjunction with Windows 7. As you can see on the screen here I do have Windows 7 running and I do have the Belkin manager running. And I do in fact list the Brother printer and this DeskJet 3740. They're both connected printers, but they're grayed out right now because they're not connected at this time. So what most of you have found is you can't connect to those devices. Even though it lists them, Windows 7 won't let you connect to them. So let me demonstrate that it can be done. Come up here now and we select, let's say, the brother printer and we connect. Notice now we are connected. Now I can disconnect. same way with the 3740 I can connect and disconnect so it is possible okay you go out on the internet and you locate this file here this F5L 009 V's and Victor 140.exe and some people call this a driver it's not a driver all it is is network management program so you download this version and the first thing after you once you get it downloaded, you have to right click on it. And you have to go down here to properties. And you make set it compatibility. Run this in compatibility mode for Windows Vista 7. I haven't tried the other choices. I haven't tried Service Pack 1 or 2. I just selected Windows Vista 7. Windows Vista. And you click OK. Now I'm going to actually run this program and operate in Windows Vista mode. So go ahead and double click and run the program, let it fully install. I guess I can do that. I'll do that now. Just reinstall it again on top of the old one. It takes you a lot of screens for some reason. At any rate, install the control center. It's good we did this because notice it says it can't install it. Well, the reason is it's still running. So if we come back here and select it right here first you have to exit it's hidden right in here exit so that would disconnect everything and stop the thing now we can actually run it remember it's still set for Vista compatibility mode now we can install the control center go through the hoops answer all the questions it's defaults my zone alarm keeps track of things, so I got zone alarm has to allow him to do what he wants to do. <clears throat> and we'll make an exception with this firewall. Yes, yes, we do. It talks about this little thing. I've never had to do that yet. Hopefully, you won't either. But I captured a picture of it, so I have it in case it needs to be done. And we're going to connect all of our devices manually, just for grins and giggles. At this point, we've finished installing it. So now, before we actually use it, we have to go over here and find it. Open Windows Explorer, go to our local drive, go to our program files. I believe it's under this one here. Belkin. And this connect.exe, this is a program that actually talks to the operating system and talks to the Belkin controller. So you have to right click and set this guy's properties so that he's compatible with Vista. That's the secret. And this mine was already set. So if these are both set, if the setup programs ran Windows Vista compatible and this connect program was set to Windows Vista compatible, then the problems are all solved. That is the fix. So I've reinstalled mine to see if it's still working. Now I can connect. Now it's a connected right away, no problem. Disconnect. As it points out, if you select a printer, you want multiple people to use it. You can now click on properties and just click connection. And the third choice here is the shared printer automatically click connect and disconnect so I'm going to <clears throat> notice that that's the name that you pick it from the choice to printers the list of printers 
and then just apply it and say OK. Same way with any other printer you might have installed. What that does, that puts it in share and enable mode, which means it'll automatically connect, print something, disconnect. That way the next guy that wants to use it can get in there. We'll go back to our printers again. I believe it's right here under printing preferences, maybe. And it'll put two copies fooling around. It's not that. Now you're gonna make it difficult. We've got so many choices here. Printer properties. Right here, print a test page. So watch up here what happens when I print the test page. Belkin up here connected, sent the test page out, and now I disconnected once the test page is finished. So the Belkin router is working, the Belkin, Belkin USB hub is working as designed. And that concludes this video.